This clip will be aired with more subtitles later today. On Monday, February 6, 2023, while still in her intensive meditation retreat for the world, our most caring Supreme Master Qinghai, vegan, lovingly made time to answer questions on various topics during a work-related conversation with a Supreme Master television team member. Among the subjects Master shared her insights on was some good news coming from Iran, further revelations from heavens regarding the countries with the least karma, and more. Hi. Hi. Anybody home? Yes. Hi, Master. <laughs> hi. Hi. How are you, Master? Uh, uh, if you don't ask, I don't have to tell, but oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask, I tell always. <laughs> okay. I'm tired. Very tired. Been oh. too busy. Yeah. The internet is so crazy. Sometimes off, sometimes on. So I'm very frustrated. I didn't sleep many, many nights and I'm kind of tired. Oh. Anything else you can tell me now, because before I was more tired than now. <laughs> okay. I feel a little better now because I'm away from the internet, away from the computer. Yeah. Okay, yes. So I had time to talk. Okay. Tell me. All right, there's some things. Uh, Iran is to pardon many who have been detained in anti-government protests. Oh, that's a very big improvement. Yes. Very happy. Happy news for the citizens of Iran. I'm happy. Yeah. yeah, me too. That's good. Yeah, I heard that it's the leader of Iran who ordered that. Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah. This will earn him some merit toward heaven. Oh, it's good for him. Oh, good for wow. him. I just saw it now. 60 points. That's not much, but normally there's no merit even because that's their job. The spiritual leader is the job to take care of the people, you know? Yes. Yeah, but heaven is lenient nowadays because it's a special situation. Everybody's going down, down. So if anyone does any little thing pleasing to heaven, they give you points. Yes. Wow. The leader, Khomeini, I think, he will have 60 points for that. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Very nice. It's good for him. Good for him. Yes. Normally, these types of things are not rewarded because it's the job of the government or spiritual leader to help their, you know, underlings, the citizens. But uh, I guess maybe he or somebody has repented in their heart. Ah, right. The intention is what counts. Yes. God is forever merciful. If you truly repent and ask for forgiveness, you will have that. <laughs> I wish everybody understands really what I'm saying. Yes. They really have to understand it. Ask for forgiveness. Repent. You turn. Do good instead. Okay. Uh, all right. That's good news. Good news for Iran. It has been heavy in my heart also. Oh. You know, that all the innocent children, women and men have been raped, beaten, murdered. It's not even a national security crime to kill them. Yes, yeah. exactly. So every country has protest events sometimes. You see what I'm saying? Yes. They're just voicing their opinion. And that's how the government knows how to react or how to govern. If people don't express their opinions, then you just keep going blindly in one direction and you don't know what's right, what's wrong, and what people are happy with or not. Yes, that's right. Government, that means you must govern the people according to the people's wish, as long as they don't wish for anything bad. Yes, exactly. Yeah, they just want to voice their opinion, to want their freedom and dignity as a human. Yes, Master. And any government, any police unit or system should never, never, ever harm any citizens because they are the ones who pay you. They are your boss, actually. Yes, exactly. And above all, heavens will listen to the innocent people. They are also allied with heavens. So the government should never, ever harm them, the citizens of the world. Yes, that's true. Because no matter who, police or government or leader of the government, they are just humans. They are bound to do wrong. 
And if they know they're wrong, they should change and repent and make up for it. That's all. Then yes, people will be happy. Yes, that's right. People are also forgiving, just that they have to change. Whoever did wrong to hurt the citizens, to hurt their boss, who pays them, to make them become weak and powerful like that. Yes, that's right, Master. Yeah. That's good news. There is something else. Mm. Uh, some P. Francis news. P. Francis and Protestant leaders denounce anti-homosexual laws. Means they don't like it. They don't want it. Correct. Okay. P. Francis says such laws are a sin and an injustice, mm -hmm. which seems like it's a good thing, what he says. But then on the other hand, he reiterated that the Catholic Church cannot permit sacramental marriage of same-sex couples. So mm. it's like he says one thing, which is seemingly good, but does the opposite. Mm. It's very ambiguous and contradictory. <laughs> <laughs> why, why do you ask me about this, uh, whatever you call it, anymore? He knows nothing. He just talks the way the devil dictated to him inside. And so there's no intelligence, no logic or mm. anything. You know, there's no need. But it's okay, you can ask, so that maybe we can clarify it with, with some people who want to listen, who want to know the, the clarification. This guy is good for nothing. He's harmful to the world, harmful to the children of the world, harmful to all the women and men who have been bullied, misled, harassed, raped, and robbed by the Catholic Church's clergy system. They are devils, incarnated. They're following the devil. They don't have God in their hearts. It's so obvious already. They defend each other for all these atrocities against their own faithful. Yes, Master. That's right. And meanwhile, eating big meat and drinking big wine, you know, alcohol. And so, of course, when they're drunk and stuff, they say anything. There's mm. no, no intelligence. I don't see one ounce or one nanometer of intelligence in the church nowadays, oh. from the top to the bottom. So sad. And there are some churches who are good. They are vegan and they're really honest and clean, but, but not a lot. Yes, that's right. Most of them already know why they went in there. So they have privilege and can rape children easily because oh. they're just there. Children are there Gosh, that's all so the shocking. time. Like altar boys, it's so easy and they're vulnerable. They. They don't understand, and they have the worshipping spirit in their heart taught by their parents already. So they don't know how to defend themselves. They never imagine such things could happen, so they are helpless. Yes, Master. It's so easy for the space. So it's just become like a matter-of-fact kind of lifestyle in the Catholic Church. Oh, wow. And the head proclaimed that the Church belongs to Satan anyway. So I don't know why people still follow them. Maybe they don't know about these things, or maybe they just have the same mindset, Whoa. the same sinful kind of concept, and thinking that's normal. That's why. Yeah. It's normal to think like that until they are the ones who are yeah. robbed, raped, and abused. Yeah, yeah. Gosh. Oh, talking about that, I want to vomit. Oh, yuck. Yeah. How can society still tolerate this kind of yeah, entity? Yeah, that's right. Oh. I shouldn't. Oh, please, please tell me something else. I, I feel sick. Yeah. Regarding China and Taiwan or Formosa relations, is there any way this potential Chinese invasion of Taiwan or Formosa can be stopped? Yeah, I kind of told you already, but uh, what's the use of telling you? Because uh, people don't listen to me. Even though the, the solution is very simple. Just be peace. Be compassionate, then that's what you will get in return. And immediately, if the Taiwanese people go vegan, all of them, the war will never, ever happen. Wow. Never. Yes. I tell you that from all my honor, because heaven told me that also, because I also worry about Taiwan. Yes, Master. I keep asking, what can I do for them? How can I sacrifice if I can? They said they have to do it. That this time, you cannot, nobody can help them except themselves. This is the time of pure cleansing. There's nothing else. Just vegan, that's it. A very simple solution, but nobody will listen. And 
they don't believe the thing could be that simple anyway. But the thing is that simple. We are just so busy. We used to more complicated life and troublesome solutions. So anything that anybody says that's simple, like the Buddha came down and said five precepts and you will be free, at least not go to hell. Yes. And then you be vegan, you keep the precepts and then you're free. But uh, how many Buddhists do that? Even many monks don't do that. You have to be vegan just for compassion, benevolence and mercy alone. Not because the Buddha says so even, or not because Jesus taught us like that, or any other master say you should not eat animal people. You should not eat animal people because you love them. You love all beings. How you show love is not to kill them, not to eat them. Yes, that's right. Not to kill them doesn't mean you kill them yourself, but if you eat them, people have to kill for you. Yes, master. So the first precept of great religions always is you shall not kill. Directly or indirectly? Yes, Master. So if they go on the clean way, on the positive side, then that's it, they're on the positive. Yeah. And the negative doesn't touch them. But if they're either next to the negative or leaning toward that direction, then that's where it happened. Ah, oh, right. The thing is, there are two sides in this world, positive and negative. Uh, sadly, it's like that. The negative people either have that negative tendency in their heart already, so they will fight. One wants to fight or threatens to fight, and the other one provokes in some way to make it happen, to make the war happen. So at the outset, it looked like only one aggressor trying to invade. But on the other side, if the opposite side also does something that they could avoid, in order to provoke, but it doesn't look like that. Yes. It looks like they're both the opposite parties, but the one who provokes, the one who encourages, and the one who aggressively attacks, both are on the same side. Yes, Master. It looks like they're both against each other, but it's not like that. Like in two countries, one is uh, threatening to invade, and the other country looks like they're going to prepare to go against it. But they did something else, either visible or invisible or behind the curtain or something, or in front of the public, subtly or obviously, just to make the war happen. Whoa. Both of them are the same side. Ah, oh, yeah. But nobody can say that. Right. Only heaven sees it. I see it also. It's very clear to me. Yes, Master. Whoa. They just want it to happen, so people will die. Oh, gosh. Oh, the country will perish. Oh, gosh, wow. Citizens will suffer, even though they look like they contradict each other, but it's not. They cause it to happen. Oh, wow. Both of them, both sides. Yes, gosh. In many cases, it's like that. That's how wars happen. Yes, Master. Wow. Either that or someone else is helping to flame it up. Yes, Master. And then they can sell, benefit themselves. Wow. Everything is <laughs> it's not so black and white, but in the eyes of heaven, everything is clear. I see everything clear, too. Maybe not as clear as heaven. Sometimes, of course, I have to confirm with heaven whether or not I'm right. Mm, yes, Master. I'm mostly always right, except the things that I did not know, I did not expect. I did not research into it beforehand. Yes, Master like the list of the heaviest karma countries yes. before. That was a big surprise. It caught me by surprise. Yes. Talking about that, Master, yeah. are you able to please tell us about the countries with the least karma? Yeah. Which ones yeah, there yeah. are? Yeah, yeah. I also have that. Uh, one moment. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, I have the list because I'm away from the computer and... My eyes hurt so much that the tears kept running down, so I couldn't work anymore. Oh. So I had to leave the computer and the list. One moment, okay? Okay, yeah. Master, thank you. Okay, okay. You want to know the list of the least karma countries, right? Yes, please, Master. I also have the top ten for you. <laughs> oh, great. Thank you, Master. Yeah. Because after I talked to you, I told you about the top ten heaviest karma. 
Yes, most definitely. I was thinking there must be others who have at least karma. So I looked and I asked heaven, and they were happy to tell me. Oh, okay. wonderful. <laughs> Listen here. Okay, take a deep breath, because you'll be in for a big surprise, like me. Okay. <sighs> this is the list of the least karmic burden countries. Number one, are you ready? Yes, yes, please. Hold on, hold on to your chair. <laughs> I am, literally. <laughs> <laughs> the least karmic carrier country in the whole world is in Asia, the least expected country. Wow. Can you guess now? Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, I'll tell you. Please North tell Korea. What? North Korea? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. The I also... least, The least yeah. karma. Yeah. Oh, I am fully surprised, and I would never have guessed that. Wow. Me neither. Wow. Me neither. I confess to you. Well, if I took longer time in meditation and concentrated only on this topic of karmic burden of every country, then I probably could find it. But I did not. So I just asked heaven. It's quicker. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, nobody would believe that. So anyway, just for you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a shock. And the disciples, the so-called disciples, your brothers and sisters. Yeah. Yes. Believe it or not. And number two. Okay. Even then, it's still surprising to be down there. Very surprising, okay? Yes. Number two, can you guess? Okay, in Europe. <laughs> I tell you, quickly. Moldova. Moldova? Oh. Moldova, yes. Wow. I'm telling you, the countries that pop up would never be in my mind. Yes. I sometimes don't even know how to spell that country and where it is even. Of course I can find it, but what I mean is, is it's not like in my mind already or often or anything. Yes, that's true. Wow. Okay, number three. You want to guess again? <laughs> Somewhere in America. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Europe again. Oh, Spain. Nope. One more guess. Uh, I wish also. Portugal. I wish also. Nope. Okay, then I don't know. <laughs> you don't know, huh? No. Finland. Finland. Yeah. Wow. We never thought of that, of that country. No. Rarely mentioned. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Rarely mentioned. Okay. Number four now. Tell me, if you can. Uh, let's go. Let's go to Asia again. <laughs> okay, you choose. <laughs> Uh, uh, Cambodia? Nope. Formosa. Oh, wow. Number four. Happy for that country, okay, huh? Okay, yes, yeah. that's good. Yes. Number five, I leave you to have a guess again. Man, you have a lot of chances today, but you lost four times already. No, okay. South America somewhere. <laughs> nope, you go too far. Uh, Asia. Ah, uh, okay. I'm very generous already, man. Come you on. Are, you are. Uh, India. Nope. $2,000. Again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. $3,000. $3,000. Uh, South Korea. Ah, you good, man. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 2000 my way. No way. Three. 3000 I said three. So. Uh, did you? The last. I thought you would never guess. Uh, so South did Korea. I. Okay. Good. Really? Yes, you have 3,000. Wow. I will find a way to send it to you or I will own you until I see you or whatever. It's okay. Don't Let's donate it forward somewhere to somewhere where it's needed more. Okay, good, good. I will donate it to the poor or to continue for Ukraine. Yes, okay? yes, let's do that. Yes, Ukraine. All right. Support. Five is South Korea. Now number six. This you can never guess. Okay, then I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Yemen. Oh, wow. Yemen. Y-E-M-E-N. Wow. Yeah. Wow, interesting. Is that, by the way, RP, like Republic of Yemen? Yes, it is. Officially the Republic of Yemen. Oh, no wonder, because I didn't know it. You know, heaven told me RP. I mean, I can't remember all the countries, what their titles are, you know? 
Yes. Okay, so RP Yemen. Oh, thank you, Helen. You're really so kind, so accurate. It just proves to me that you really tell the truth. Because I didn't know. Okay, now, are you ready for more? Yes. Number seven. <laughs> for more surprises. Yes. <laughs> Number seven. Can you guess? Uh, I tell you. Okay. Europe. Okay. Oh. Oh. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Italy. Nope. Slovenia. Oh. Wow. I know. I know. I know. I don't blame you because I also did not think. You, you can't just remember all the countries' names in your head. Yes, that's true. This is pure heaven. List for me. Wow. Slovenia is a small country and very quiet and not notorious, you know, for anything. Right. Number eight, huh? Now, you guess again. Okay, must be... Also e Europe. Okay, also Europe. Mm. There we... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, let's see, come on, come on. Greece. Nope. You won't guess because you would never think of this country. They they are not often mentioned. Slovakia, that's the country. Wow. That's number eight. Now number nine. Okay. Somewhere in Africa. Um, 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 um. Let's see where are we. Uh, Ethiopia. No, Niger. Niger. Ah. Yeah. Wow. I also don't know that country, believe me, so don't blame yourself. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we do know a lot of countries, you know, but but when it comes to research, it doesn't come to your mind that quickly. That's true, yes, Master. Because these countries are very, very uh, quiet, you know, peaceful, and they don't, they don't make noise, and mostly people don't know it. But it's not too surprising. I don't know that country very well. I'm not associated with it. But... North Korea was the most surprising to me. Yes, yes, exactly. Me too. Wow. All right. Now, number 10, there were two countries in the same category, number 10. Okay. Two number 10s, not just one. Okay. Yeah, so you want to guess? Oh, I just tell you quick, Please simple. Just tell, tell me quick. I'm guessing wrong anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. A, chat. Oh, Africa again. She is A D chat. B South Sudan. Wow. Another African country. Wow. Yeah. I also did not think, okay, about these two countries. I don't remember chat ever. South Sudan maybe, but I never think about that. Uh actually we have to say Korea North, uh, Korea South, and Sudan South, because that's exactly what heaven relayed to me. But I say North Korea because that's the way we always say it. But heaven told me Korea North, Korea South, and Sudan South. Uh, for us, it probably doesn't matter because that's the way we say them anyway. Like South Sudan, South Korea, North Korea. But I just want to make it exactly the way I heard just to let you know uh, what I have heard, what heaven said, though it doesn't matter much to us. So all this is from heaven's judgment for us. Okay, huh? Yes, thank you, Master. Thank you, heaven, for sharing that. Wow. Yeah, but at least we have some good countries. It doesn't mean they're completely free of karma. They're just the least comic countries. That's all, okay, huh? The least. How about, how about Ukraine? Where, where are they? What? How about uh, Ukraine? U Ukraine, Ukraine, yes. Ah, oh, Ukraine, okay. Let me look. I know it is somewhere, of course, because I could not <laughs> resist asking that. Ukraine or Ukraine? Uh, it's not as uh, good as this top 10. It's very far below. You know, like the heavy karma list? Yes. It goes all the way to 163rd. Okay. That's where you Ukraine stays, oh. at the moment, yeah. But mind you, all this will change, I think. It depends on how people behave and change their way of life and change their way of thinking. 
Yes, yes. Master. Because like, we attract like. If they go toward benevolence, then there will be more help in that way. Yes, Master. Thank you. They have 22%. Urine, huh? Has 22% okay. karmic debt. Yeah. Wow. All right. And anything else you're curious about? If I could, I answer, of course. Yeah, there is something, something good to share. Sometimes there are some very beautiful sunsets with brightly colored clouds, which can be seen for quite a while. This uh -huh. gives a feeling that there is something good going on. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything you can share about this? Uh, there's some secret, but... Uh... Wow, you, you are a lucky guy. You even have time to watch the sunset, huh? Well, not really, but sometimes we notice Yeah, that. yeah. By the way, huh? And yeah. when you go out, take a breath. Yeah. Yeah, whenever I go out, even just in the garden, I don't go anywhere. and rarely go in the garden. I take photographs whenever I can, before, more often, because I was freer. Before, I didn't do retreats, so I went out in the yard, you know? I took photographs of the sunset. Yes, Master. Well, I'm telling you something, okay? Oh, wonderful. Uh, Thank you. Many people say, Oh, Master, why don't you come to our country? And sometimes when you come, but we don't know. How do we know you're there? I say, Well, you sometimes look into the sky, okay? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> really? Yes. Sometimes the Master comes and the Master's uh, image is imprinted on the sky, very specifically, it looks like a person, color and face and all that. Wow. And if my dog, Good Love, also appears in a similar place, then he's there. Oh, wow. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, the double golden rainbow that lasts a long time. Oh, wow. Oh, some very colorful pictures in the clouds. Yes. Very special, not just normal. Yes. Then Master is very likely to be there in either astral uh, manifestation body, light body, or physical body. Oh, wow. wow. If it is physical, then it very much resembles the person, the, the physical being. Wow. If not, then many other phenomena like special uh, colorful moon, colorful sun, colorful sunset, Oh, it seems like standstill and all kind of things. But people don't look up. Uh, Too busy. Yes. Well, see, we appear in your house or in your car anyway, but you never see. Often not. Some people do see, yeah? You know, you saw it. Sometimes they write it down and let others know. That's right, yes. But sometimes I, I tell them, better keep it quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, true. But that doesn't mean your case or anything. I'm just saying general, okay, huh? Yes, yes. Like you're blessed with the presence of the master or some very high dimensional being. But mostly, if you're connected with any master, then that is a sign. Right. Oh, wonderful. Cool. <laughs> Thank uh. you for sharing that, master. Okay, good. Are you good? Good luck that you still can look at the sunset. I don't have any more time nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was thinking to tell you the other day that, oh, I would have loved to, you know, watch the sunset or go to the riverside, play on the sand, walk on the sand barefooted and all that stuff. But I never told you. Oh. But I can tell you that I love my life. I love it so much that I have to chase the internet <laughs> day and night. Yeah, I love it when I order something and then it comes out as something else which I don't need. I love so many things that uh, my work doesn't always run smoothly. I love that I have to keep running often for my safety. I love it that I love my birds, my dog, people, but I cannot be around them, for example. Yeah, I love all this life. Yeah, love it so much. No, master. Can't even go anywhere. Working so hard, being alone, yeah, I love my life. That's all I can tell you. Sunset and all that, forget it. Master. All right, anything else? Or? I think that's, that's it, Master. That's now. good, okay. Yeah. All right, okay then, God bless, huh? Mm. Okay, thank you, Master. God bless, God protect Master, always. Thank you, same to you. God shield, God bless, God love.
with heartfelt appreciation for Most Merciful Master, disclosing newly provided revelations from heaven and sharing her timeless wisdom, we hope the world will be inspired towards a benevolent and godly way of living, which is the vegan lifestyle, coupled with loving kindness. Let us pray for all countries to quickly blossom into their greatest and most glorious state, encouraged with divine purpose and determination to prove to heavens and earth their nobility and righteous stance. May beloved Master be always well protected and endowed with peace and excellent health in the vigilance of all gracious cosmic beings. This clip will be aired with more subtitles later today. To learn how one can find a really good spiritual master and to hear details about the lifestyle master misses the most, please tune in on Thursday, February 16, 2023 on Between Master and Disciples for the full broadcast of this phone call. Also, for your reference, please check out the previous Related Fly News or Between Master and Disciples conferences such as Fly News, Countries with Most Karma, Humans must pray for forgiveness. Between Master and Disciples, pray for world liberation. Last call to turn vegan and repent sincerely. Make peace with animal people. Turn vegan, make peace with humanity. No more war. Purify yourself and worship only God, the two little devils, etc. To view these and more related Between Master and Disciples conferences, all free for download, please visit suprememastertv.com and search for Countries with Least Karma.